Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's August 21st. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, thanks for joining us this week. Uh, some of quieter week in the markets this week. Uh, we saw interest rates uh, staying stable. They had ticked up last week. Um, another $1.8 billion of inflows, but uh, definitely starting to feel the market uh, seems heavier and moving into a, a quieter period at the end of August. What, uh, what kind of feedback were you hearing from your contacts? Uh, we're hearing that you know deals are coming into the market. They're priced to sell. Dealers don't want to have a lot of inventory on hand. They're just clearing the market and moving on to the next deal. Definitely some interesting uh, feedback. Uh, obviously, we saw weaker treasury auctions the last two weeks, uh, but still, uh, you can't fight the Fed at some level, and there's uh, definitely demand out there to keep uh, keep the broader interest rate market uh, where it is. Right. So in the new issue market, uh, let's start by taking a look at last week. Again, another busy week for BAM, over $365 million of new issues. Um, and interestingly, half of that was in the uh, negotiated sector, half of it was from competitive deals. Uh, what kind of uh, things stood out to you? Uh, so the largest deal of the week was a $60 million Fort Bend Levy Improvement District deal, uh, number seven, that was purchased in the competitive market by Samco. Uh, we don't really see that kind of size in the improvement district space in Texas too often. Um, and this one was a little bit unique to where it had the BAM Green Star designation. So we were happy to get an opportunity to wrap that name. Um, also, okay, wait for, that. In, uh, for a second before you go on, there's a, um, a BAM Credit Insights video about that uh, with Greg Pacifico. Uh, the reason is a standout deal. It's a very unusual infrastructure project. It's uh, for a river bank restoration and rebuilding uh, along the banks of the Brazos River in the district, which is just uh, southwest of downtown uh, Houston. So that's uh, definitely worth a look on BAM's YouTube page. And uh, away from that, we had D.A. Davidson priced a $37 million Mount Vernon, Illinois transaction. And then we also had two sizable transactions, roughly $30 million, one for a taxable Oyster Bay, New York deal, uh, and then a, a, a Paso Robles Joint Unified School District deal in California. So those taxable advance for funding still uh, keep coming into the market. They're here. Um, they're still economically viable, and they're, they're, they're going to be around for a while, we think. So next week, calendar down to $8 billion nationwide. What's, uh, what's on the slate for BAM? So $8 billion next week, $7 billion of that is expected to be negotiated, so a little bit lighter in the competitive space next week. Uh, right now, BAM has $184 million of transactions slated to price. Uh, a larger one is the $25 million Penn Hill School District deal with Benning and Scattergood, and again, that's a taxable refunding that was, we just talked about. And also, there's a $19 million Imperial Community College District deal in California that Piper Sandler is expected to price. Great. And so we'll uh, get an update next week on how the uh, competitive market plays out. And uh, we'll see you then. Take it easy. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption. So while America rebuilds, BAM has you covered. BAM. Build America Mutual. Talk to your investment advisor or visit buildamerica.com.